Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. This is Tanya Khatun, student of Begum Rukia University under the Department of Gender and Development Studies. Today I would like to present how improving maternal and infant health aggregate population control, which was given by our honorable course teacher, Mr. Taha Hussain. Now I am going to present. The health of mother and their children is of critical importance, both as a reflection of the current health status of a large segment of the world population and as a predictor of the health of the next generation. A range of indicators of maternal and neonatal health exist, those primarily affecting pregnant and and postpartum women and those affecting of the health and survival of a child. Child well-being and maternal well-being are interrelated to each other. If women are malnourished, anemic and suffer from other health problems, the maternal mortality and child mortality will increase. To improve maternal and infant health, we have to evaluate the impact of the implementation of enhanced health care delivery care system. Community workers should be supervised by training skill. Health workers to go house to house to find pregnant and newborn babies. To improve maternal and infant health, we should also follow some steps. The first one is early identification and surveillance of the pregnant women and newborn babies. The second one is recognition and management of the pregnancy related complication. The third one is screening for condition and disease such as syphilis HIV infection. And the last one is developing birth and emergency preparedness plan. In concluding, I would like to say that maternal health is important to get a healthy baby. Women face many complications during their pregnancy period. So we should arrange all facilities for women during their pregnancy period. That's all of my presentation. Thank you everyone for listening to my speech.